Hello everyone and thanks for watching. My name is Nathaniel Kramer, known as Preaching Musician on this channel. With me is one of my best friends, Nick Comstock, and he has his own video or his own video series, his own channel on YouTube. This week and next week, we're going to be doing something different on my channel. We're going to be in, uh, doing an interview, uh, an interview, one with me interviewing Nick and one with Nick interviewing me. So let's get started. So Nick, I got a few questions for you and you, and you know that we both love food a lot, especially you. So the first question I got for you is, what is your favorite restaurant? Um, my favorite, I actually have a couple. I'm a, I'm a big burger guy, so I love a local restaurant here in my area called Red Robin. They're really good. Um, as far as a favorite burger from there, I do not know. I consider it all good. And there's also another burger place here called Smash Mouth Burgers and Pizza. It's awesome. It's some of the best burgers I've ever tasted. Red Robin, man. I've never been to Red Robin. Oh, it's awesome. They have a bottomless fry. You can get as much, as many fries as you want. They'll keep bringing them to you. It's awesome. So all you can eat fry. That's pretty good. All right. So free commercial for Red Robin, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So the next question, if you could eat any meal right now, if you could pick any meal in the world and you could have it right now, what would it be? Probably Mexican food. That um, It's my favorite type of food to eat, and I like it spicy. So if I could have a burrito right now, it'd be awesome. All right, let's, let's get into the channel a little bit. And um, I just want to ask you, what, what, uh, what made you decide to start this channel? What, what, uh, what led to that decision? Well, I wanted to start it back in 2010, but God um, had other plans, and I didn't actually start it until... Uh, 2012. June of 2012 is when we started. And I wanted to start it because I wanted to be an encouragement to people and I wanted a place where people could come to laugh and have a really, really good time. We have about uh, 17 videos out right now that are just full of ins inspiration and stories of how I grew up and a couple embarrassing stories too. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun doing the channel. That's great. Um, so we have a big announcement to make. Do you want to go ahead and, and throw it out there for everybody to, everybody to take in? Yes, I, I have a huge announcement to make today. Um, the channel has been called Smile Through Your Trials since June 2013, and we are changing that to WCNN, and what that stands for is Wheelchair Nick Network. Now, don't be disappointed, everybody, because Smile Through Your Trial is not going away. Uh, it is going to be an extension of this channel change, and I feel like I'll be able to talk about more topics that aren't necessarily around uh, Smile right. Through Your Trial. I feel like you'll get to know me better when we make this change. I'm really excited about it. That's great. Yeah, we've been talking about this for, for a while now, and uh, we talk a lot about our, each other's channels, and we've, we've been working together for, for a long time, but I want to get a little bit into more into just, just you as a person. And this is a question I like to ask different people. I always get different answers. Um, but if you could live anywhere in the world, like if you could go in any place, but you have to live there the rest of your life, but if you could live anywhere, where would it be? If I could live anywhere, where would it be? That's a tough choice. Probably, I know it would be somewhere warm because I hate these cold Indiana weather. <laughs> so it would probably be either, it's a toss up right now between Arizona and California. Arizona and California. Okay, so what, why would you live in those places? Just because it's warmer? Uh, warmer and less, warmer and no winters. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, just because it's warmer. <laughs> no snow. No, no snow. No craziness outside. <laughs> California is probably out of the running because of earthquakes, so it's probably down to to Arizona now. Yeah, that's probably a good choice. So tell me a little bit about your testimony. Uh, what's what's your salvation experience? How did how did you get to know Jesus? Well, I was uh, saved at the age of four. Uh, my father led me to Christ. Actually, 
He led me and uh, my twin brother Nathan to Christ at the same time. And uh, we were in a trailer park at the particular time. That's where we were living. And uh, one Sunday afternoon after dinner, uh, we had went to take our Sunday afternoon nap. And my dad all of a sudden called both me and my twin brother. And at the time, we thought we were getting in trouble because we were talking and we were always taught that you don't talk during nap time for some odd reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, it turned out that he wanted to talk to us and lead us to Christ. And so that's what happened. Uh, we were led to Christ on my couch at the trailer park that we were living in at the time. So let me, let's, let's talk a little bit, a little bit more about us. And um, I don't know if our, our YouTube viewer, viewers probably don't know this, but we've, we've known each other, man, a long time. How many years has it been, Nick? It's probably been a little over 10 years. We met each other in seventh grade. So it's probably been a little over 10 years, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, and it's been a great ride. It's been fun. Yeah, we've, we've done a lot of projects together, and we've, we've had a lot of fun, a lot of great times. Uh, we got to go to high school together, and just, it, it's, been, it's been great. But if you could pick one favorite me uh, memory out of all of the time that we had together, what would that be? Well, I'm probably going to pick two, and you can choose which one uh, you, you like the best. But the one that sticks out to me the most is when we went on a senior trip uh, to New York and D.C., and this memory happened in New York. And let me just say, you guys, uh, Nathaniel probably has a love for the Lord uh, more than anyone else that I know that is a Christian in our generation. And uh, he just has a his heart's on fire for God, and he has a love for the Lord. That being said, we were at an Olive Garden restaurant in New York, and we were having dinner, and the waiter came up, he started talking to us, we said we were from out of town, he said, uh, where, where are you guys from? And we told him, uh, we're from Indiana, outside of Chicago, and he said, oh, uh, that's where that's where you guys are in support of uh, guns and Bibles and religion, and uh, Nathaniel didn't really like that too much, so he <laughs> actually got into an argument with the waiter. Uh, the chaperones <laughs> on this trip were not very pleased with him, but I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll never forget that. That that was that was a memory for sure. That's something I'll always remember. <laughs> Yeah, the chaperones weren't too happy with you the rest of the trip. I don't. I wasn't too happy with him. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So the next memory that I that I remember, you guys, we we um, were in singing group uh, together. Nathaniel's really, he loves music, and so do I. So we started a singing group when we were in high school. And our tenor, we love him, but our tenor at the time was one of these real showy people, and he liked to show off, and we were singing a song, and he decided to go really outrageously high, and he was literally screaming at the top of his lungs, which caused our English teacher at the time, who I have to say is a she's a very wonderful lady but she's very prim and proper and she came in there and she she ripped him to pieces and just said it's not about screaming the song it's about performing the song uh for Jesus Christ <laughs> and you shouldn't be singing the song that way you sound too showy i mean she ripped into him for about 10 minutes that was another great memory it was it was a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all enjoyed that, except for Daniel, of course. <laughs> yes, except for except for Daniel. I wasn't gonna say his name, but since Nate did, we'll just go ahead and throw it out there. Well, he, he's yeah, he, he's probably gonna figure out it who uh, this video, anyways. But yeah, that was that was that was funny. That I, he got a kick out of it later too. But yeah, we uh, we got carried away a little bit every once in a while with our practices. That, but it was fun. Yeah. 
It really was. You got something else to say, Nick? Um, no, I'm just really looking forward to the start of the channel. If I can, uh, the start of the change to the channel. By the time this airs, this is actually going to be the launching video on February 14th on Friday of uh, this interview. And so by the time this airs, it'll be two weeks from now. And I'm just really looking forward to it. I really hope, uh, my hope is that we can, that I can connect more with my viewers and have a lot more fun. So stay tuned because there's a lot of good stuff coming up. I've been preparing for weeks to do this and I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to see to see what you put out. And I, I know you've, man. I, every time I talk to you, I know you're spending hours of time just brainstorming, coming up with ideas. So it'll be really it'll be really good to see what happens from here. I'm really excited about our future and and uh, our time working together. Yeah, because we're also going to do some videos together too. So I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, thank, thank you for watching and uh, tune in next week. We're going to be releasing the next video, which is going to be Nick interviewing me about my channel. So uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.